Hey Instagram, hey YouTube. So this is Jessica coming in from um, my backyard. <laughs> um, welcome, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome if it's your first time. I am the big boss, um, big adventure, and I have two daughters who are little tiny bosses of their own little business. My 13 year old makes her own t-shirts and my 11 year old makes jewelry. Um, hence the word or the name, Tiny Bosses Big Journey. Our journey has come to an end as far as the build of the guest room in my um, reclaimed, repurposed storage unit in the back of our house. Um, we have two. I did this to the smaller of the two. Uh, I'm done, which is why my head looked the way it do because I've been hard at work, so don't judge me. <laughs> Be nice in the comments. Without further ado, I don't really like to talk too long. I like to show you guys what I did because let's face it, that's why you guys tune in. So here is the finished project or product of what I've been doing for the last month. All right. Zoom out. Y'all know I always gotta zoom out. So that bucket has my tools in it. Y'all don't care about that. These are tablecloths and um i put it on here with tape because again i can i can change them out i didn't want to do wallpaper or drywall because it was just i don't need the problem um this is too big to fit out of this door this door is being blocked by a tree so that's as big as it opens that's as wide as it opens so because i couldn't take this out i chose to uh repurpose it i turned it sideways it's like a old school mantle it has hooks so that you can hook stuff on. And I mean, it sits on a wall with some serious nails. Uh, they took it out of the house and stuck it in the storage. My boyfriend and his father, before he passed, stuck it in storage. And so it's just been here in storage. And you can tell because there's like fucking dust everywhere. Um, so right now it's gonna hold books for reading when you're on the toilet and just storage books. Down below, we're gonna have all of our uh, games for in here. Up here, we're gonna have um the tissue on this side i don't know probably more tissue uh paper or it might have uh what you call them towels like hand towels face towels instead uh we haven't come to a decision about that yet again the toilet i have decided i'm going to um these don't work they're lights they're old lights that was on here at the time i'm gonna pop those off i have some new ones I want to put some new lights there so that when you're on the toilet you got some view um here is the toilet that i got from walmart that i'm extremely extremely proud of um it is a compost toilet of many sorts it's a little camper one for when you're out in the wilderness you fill it up with water up here there is water inside you use that to pump you pull this lever to open it up and drop it into the bottom one that gets dumped you have my basket for trash you have candles. We only lit the big one last night and oh my God, 10 minutes is all we needed. And we blew it out and it smelled like pine all the way up until this morning. Um, there's hooks here for your face towels, hand towels, um, anything of that nature. If you have like an overnight bag and you don't know where to put it, you want it out of sight or off the counter because you have limited space in here, you can hang it up. You have the soap, paper towels to dry your hands. There is actual hot water in here. I just washed my hands. I still have to clean the mirror, but hi. And see, I just washed my hands. We have a water bucket catch system. We are Raider fans, so there's our Raiders bucket. Okay, so this was supposed to be the closet. In previous show uh, videos and previous pictures, I kept saying that this was the closet. Technically it is. Down here, you will have throw blankets and sheets of that nature. And these three totes here, you can store your clothes, you can store your shoes or whatever you wanna store in there. Up here, I turned it into a kitchenette. I was gonna hang hangers here so that you can hang up your clothes, but I decided I wanted it to be a cute little kitchenette area. You have decoration. These do light up. If you look at my previous uploads on Instagram, you will see the, uh, the barn and the house is actually fully lit. It's, it's really cool. You have a single use coffee maker with a mug 
You have snacks galore that I just put in here. I made this basket, you guys. I did not buy this basket. Um, a couple of you were asking about it. I made this. It took me six hours. The little truck on the inside, again, previous uploads, you can see it. But the little truck on the inside is actually from um, a Dollar General. It cost me $1, and it's one of those little plastic plates. I cut this off the bottom of a bow that I got. Uh, it's one of those big old Christmas bows that you would hang on the top of your Christmas tree. I cut the ends off and just tied them on and my sewing skills would suck butt, but it doesn't matter because it's the same color. Uh, snacks galore of all of my faves and his faves. Now, I'm gonna back up a little bit. You got the curtains on both sides because I don't know how to do walls yet. So these are, curtains to separate more of my uh tablecloths that are taped up but i mean come on give it to me like seriously give it to me i i may have cheaped it out but cheap is not bad when it look good <laughs> it's just not and then these lights for those of you who want to know they are battery operated three double a batteries they run a very long time and the best part is i got them from walmart for nine dollars and believe it or not i'm getting another two so that i can have it go all the way across here and then do the same thing in the front but yes brand new bed sheets brand new pillows and then you have ain't i cute i'm just too cute we do play chess this is not a prop that we just bought to put on here for the video we do play chess um our chess games last about a week <laughs> like literally one game of chess last week we take our time with our decisions and with our lives being busy we literally have time to make one move and then it's up to the next person and i'm gonna be honest if you play chess try it do one move a day i swear it's drawn out but it's so much more fun it allows you to interact with your your spouse or your friend or your your family member more it it lets you get inside of their head you have more funny moments that way Ugh, it's just awesome i got these cute little guys from the dollar tree for a dollar each the chess game was from the dollar tree as well this is not this is a two-piece set he actually has legs that kicks up and turns into a, um, a breakfast tray but he fits inside of ain't this cute let me move this i'm actually going to put my flat screen tv i do have one i have a flat screen tv um, a, it's like a 32 inch that I'm gonna put on here with my Blu-ray DVD player so that we can watch movies in bed. A cute little stool that we are using as a end table, but again, you can sit on it. Um, uh, these also double as stools that you can sit on if we wanted to have more people in here, which we can fit a lot of people in here. Um, that brown tray fits inside of this black tray. So this is what I was talking about. It was a two for that I spent 20 bucks on. So I got two trays for the price of one. And this one is the one that has that beautiful patina um, bronze rub on it. So yeah, that is the room. There's rugs all over the place. So you're not on concrete. Um, it feels like concrete, but it's not. It's the metal floor. I'm actually going to add tiling in the front. And I'm gonna do that today. And then I'm literally done. So. Please, in your um, your descriptions down below, your comment section down below, let me know what you think. Again, this is my first uh, conversion DIY. I didn't want to put any holes into the, the structure. I didn't want to paint or build anything. I just wanted to spruce it up and give it a purpose. And I'm in love with it. It's stupid rustic. It's hella DIY. It's extremely home, you know, do it yourself with what you got like just ghetto as hell but sexy it's supposed to give off that romantic feel like when the door is closed and all you have are these twinkle lights that also do this by the way hold on let me show you it's got settings y'all it looks it's a, these are outdoor lights which is why they have so many different settings it's off and then it blinks on they both do this and then it's solid I absolutely love it. Again, um, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, I know a lot of people are, are doing uh, DIY changes. Some people wanna do it, but don't think that they have the budget for it. This sink came from Ikea, $98, bro. 
$98. It was under a hundred bucks for that sink. And it's a kit, it comes, it's easy to set up. Everything is included. You don't need extra tools. I am in love with it. This was thirty uh, $30, this um, closet, which is sideways, by the way. This is actually the top of the closet and down there at the bottom, but I laid it sideways and I just put a, a random piece of wood across the top of it. Um, this was $30 at Walmart. Um, all of this came from Target and it cost me a total of 50 bucks for everybody over here. The, what you call it? The two piece cabinet, uh, the two piece tray thing cost me um, 20 bucks. I made this for a total of $7. This cost me $5 from Five Below. Um, all the snacks were from the Dollar Tree, a dollar. These three bins came from Five Below. They do have a website, fivebelow.com, and they also have an app. If you don't have a Five Below in your area, you can order online, and I believe it's free shipping when you purchase enough stuff. This one came from the Dollar Tree. This came from Home Depot, five bucks. The little bucket came from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this big guy right here came from Walmart. He was $5 on sale. Dollar Tree bin. He was $65 on Amazon. I got him for $54 on uh, Home Depot. I mean, not Home Depot, but Walmart. Walmart.com, $54. Bucks. My books come from the Dollar Tree. I ain't got no shame in it. They be having some really good books, especially for my teenage daughter. OMG. Um, stop sleeping, y'all. Y'all better start searching. Oh, and the rugs are 5 bucks from 5 Below. The bed frame came from Walmart. That was $60. And the bed set was 10 bucks from Family Dollar. And again, in love. All of these curtains, or these, not curtains, but these tablecloths were a dollar from the Dollar Tree. And tape, you can get anywhere. <laughs> so I even taped up the lights. The lights are up there by tape, nothing else. So again, um, if you have any uh, suggestions, I'm all ears. If you want any advice, let me know and I can answer that for you within like two hours. Like I get notifications. So I don't want to keep it too long. Without further ado, everything wants to act up for me today. Yes, the more I move, the more crazy my hair gets. It's one of those wild hairs. They don't stay where they're supposed to. I can't deal. Anyway, I'm gonna get some dreads. I don't care. I think I want some dreads. I'm gonna sign off. <laughs> my next video I don't know what it'll be about but it'll be about something um until next time Ooh, wait so the baskets I made the one that I showed you guys with the little bows and the little truck on it yeah I got my first order <laughs> I'm not selling these I just made them because they're fun and I wanted to teach myself something new and it, I found out that it's like very zen for me like I really enjoy doing it especially when you're binging on Netflix and Hulu and stuff. I mean, you're just sitting there, so why not have your hands doing something, right? So I taught myself how to make some like serving tray basket type things, and I got my first order. She ordered six of them. Are you kidding me? Six of them. Ah! I'm super excited about that. I just might have to do a video of that one. And um, for those of you who uh, tune into all of my uploads and things like that, tell me what you think about my other basket, the lime green one with the spider attached to it. Yo, that was off of a whim. I don't even know where I was going with that, but I'm in love with the turnout. Uh, let me know what you think. Okay, now I'm leaving. Okay, love you, bye.